Thank you for watching Tie to Throw. I want to tie one of my favorite steel head patterns for you and it's a basic tube fly type with marabou, uh, iced up and a little bit of Lady Amherst and some flash. Uh, let me start off what I got on my needle. I've got a Pro Micro Tube and this is a clear one and I've added a small raw weight which is basically just a small tungsten ring. Slide it all the way to the back. So I'll attach my thread. And when you tie with uh, iced up, which I'm gonna put in a loop, which I'm creating right now, it's very important you don't use any GSP threads because those threads are really slick and they don't catch the, uh, the dubbing real good even when you put some, some dubbing wax on there. Put my dubbing tool in there and for some extra hold I'll put some dubbing wax in my loop. It just helps to really hold on to the ice dub because I'm going to create a little shoulder with some ice dub which I have right here just take my needle and spread it out a little bit so it's nice and even. I think that is important because if you don't you'll get a clump on one side of your fly and might not swim right. Okay here we go. Pinch the thread, spin it. I'll take my dubbing needle just get all the fibers out and if you're losing some of the ice dub that's fine so I'm just gonna fold it over. Now I'm basically going to hack all the dubbing and with that I'm going to create a shoulder and when you're doing this it's really important you get tight wraps so each wrap has to be as tight as possible. Oops, that happens. No worries. Just take your hackle pliers move on. When you, uh, when you spin your thread too much, that sometimes happens, but I still like to use pretty thin thread because it looks better. So this is uh, 6 odd. Just continue your fly and tie it off. Piece of thread, push everything back with your left hand, really get close up to the dubbing. There we go. Just to make sure I put a half hitch on there, and again come in with your dubbing needle and we 
with your brush and forwards. And backwards. And you end up with a nice tight shoulder. Because the marabou is really long, uh, I like to use a guinea fowl feather. I'm using a hot pink one. Make sure you got a nice, uh, nice strong stout feather. Prep a little tying in point. Tie that in. I always like to double back the feather. Just like to make my flies durable. Cut off the excess. And to make them stand out, I use a, uh, a little brush. Just give it a good brush. I don't like to use my scissors because that will really shape the feather towards the rear of the fly. That's not what I want. Pull them back with one hand and just make tight wraps. I turn my vise, pull the stem straight, really tie it down, trim the excess, here we go, give it a little brush. As you can see, we end up with a really nice firm shoulder. Now I'm gonna tie in my first marabou feather and I'm gonna tie it in the classic popsicle color. So I'll use a fluo orange, fluo pink and we'll finish off with a nice purple. Make sure you get rid of all the, the fluffy stuff that's on the bottom. I'm just using the nice part. Tie it in on me. Three wraps, double the tip back. Put one there. Tie down a couple more wraps and catch the tip. Cut that away. I'm basically doing the same with my left hand. I'll stroke the fibers back and I'll hackle it. And again, I try to make nice tight wraps so every wrap should touch the previous one. There we go. off cut 
cut away the stem. Give it a little brush again. Make sure all the fibers stand out. Nice and even. There we go. I'm tying in my first flash. And for this I like to use the lateral scale, and it's the micro version. I'm just putting it on the side, two, two strands. Spread them out a little bit. There we go. Double them over to the other side. Two wraps and again spread them out. Tie down. Now they're too long, but just leave it for now and we'll fix that later on. So now I'm gonna tie in my, my second color, which is pink. And again, I've, I've stripped the feather. I'm only using the nice, the nice part. Tie it in. Couple of wraps. Double the tip back. Couple more wraps, catch the tip and cut it away. There we go. Just like before, stroke the fibers back with one end and wrap forward. Nice and easy. Make sure you're keeping everything as tight as possible. Yeah, so tight wraps. You should do it. I have a little more than I need, so. Just cut away a few of the fibers. So I get a really nice small tying off point. Here we go. Now the trick to get a really nice fly is keeping everything really tight. One in the front. The way to stem. I'm gonna do two things. First of all, I'm gonna tie in a little bit of uh, purple and blue or McKelly blue flash from Pro Sport Fisher. I'm spreading them wide between my fingers, putting them on top. Catch it with my tying thread and I'll roll them around right on the top. Here we go. Turn my vise so I can look and see what I'm doing. 
don't know. Spread them out on the bottom, tie them off. And again, it may be too long, but we'll, we'll fix that later on, okay? So, for a nice contrast, I'll use some uh, Lady Amherst fibers in purple. And then when we do the last color, the purple, I'll put some pink on top of that. Just to add a little bit of contrast and because they're nice and speckled, it gives a really buggy look to your fly. I'm only using five fibers, no more than that. Just tying them in one by one, spreading them around. Four and the final one. On the bottom and in the middle, number five. Time down. And what you can do is just use your scissors or if you have a small hobby knife, just get rid of the ends. There we go. So now our final color, a little bit of purple. Tie in like before. Couple of wraps, double tip, tie it down. There we go. Catch that tip. Get rid of it. And again, using one hand to stroke the fibers back. I'm just gonna hack it. So now I'm gonna tie in the uh, the pink hammers. Again, not too much, only five. Now the fly is basically finished, but if you want to make it look even nicer, what you can do is tie in some John Cock cheeks. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. 
I like to put them on the sides fairly straight. It's looking right. Yep, that's, that's good. Cut away the stems. And just put a few extra wraps on there for security. I'm going to take a cone. Nice orange one. So here we have the finished fly. I've tied it in the uh, traditional popsicle colors, but you could tie it in any color scheme you want. Um, it's a really uh, basic fly, just uses a couple of marabou feathers, but the key to this fly is uh, creating a very nice shoulder and keeping everything tight. All right guys, thanks for watching and check us out next time.